What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. This week we're going to talk about something special as these are a snake species that I've never spoken about on a video before. I don't even think I've made a social media post about them until recently. So that is the black milk snake. Now these are confused often with the Mexican black king snake. They look very similar as they become adults. But you'll see in this video we're going to look at some eggs, we're going to look at some new babies and go through the whole process. You're going to see they're very different than the Mexican black king snake because as babies they're tricolored. These are essentially the colubrid that is an IMG boa. Before we dive into the video, make sure that you check out my Instagram, my Facebook, my website, and my Patreon. If you're looking for more of that one-on-one -on -one consulting type of learning and mentoring of how to breed snakes, keep snakes, whatever it might be, make sure you check that out. My Patreon is Jason's Exotic Reptiles, so patreon.com slash Jason's Exotic Reptiles. If you're looking to bring in that new snake, whether it's a Burmese python, boa, or potentially these soon when they're up on the website, make sure you check out my website, Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Reptiles.com. Let's dive in and take a look at some babies. We got the egg box ready. I don't have perlite, so I have vermiculite. I just put some water in it and we are pulling the black milk snake eggs. So I just pulled her off. She has two, four, six, eight eggs. And I've been working with these for about five years. This was one thing that my wife actually wanted to start as a project. This is the male hair. She's a little deflated. We're in the middle of cleaning. I got Greg and Zach with me and uh, the room's a little bit of a mess, but we're just gonna pull these eggs. These are, should be all coming out as one, one solid piece, and the difference between these and a Burmese python egg, or this python eggs in general, is they don't really need incubation. They do if your room is colder than about 80 degrees, but I'm just gonna put them in the, the egg box like that, cover them up, and I'm gonna put them on the top of my rack. My, my room at the top of the rack is about 83 degrees, and that should be sufficient to keep these incubated. Now that the eggs are pulled, I put them on the top of the rack. I check the temperature, it's about 82 or so in the summertime up here, and I think about 65 to 75 days later they should hatch. But for now, they're up on the top of the rack. I just wrote what they were, black milk snake to black milk snake, no morphs. Uh, I'll just check on them tomorrow. I have my substrate in there. My kid's going crazy drooling Are you keeping on me. any of them? Or are you gonna sell them? I'm probably gonna them? keep them all. Dang, That's the, that's the Teaser. default. Yeah, that's the scripted answer. I'm gonna keep them all until I run out of space, but that's why we bought new racks next to us, so I can keep them all. It's been about 73, 74 days. Uh, this video is August, or I'm sorry, October 8th, and the black milk snakes have hatched out. I already took a couple, so they all did start to pip, and uh, they haven't come out of the egg yet, but I took a couple out because they did hatch, and I'll show you those in a minute. But again, this is kind of my wife's project, really cool looking snakes, and they're tricolored, which we'll take a look at the ones that are out of the egg. Uh, which is really cool, and then we'll take a look at the adults. These are the two setups I have. What I'll do is just for the ease is I'm going to separate males and females, and um, this is actually the female in here. Really cool little uh, little snake. What's super cool about these is this isn't what their normal patterns typically look like. They normally look like more like this, like a tricolored uh, red, black, white type of snake. Really cool looking snakes. They're they're pretty hardy. Uh, and just, uh, again, really awesome. And what's interesting is their bellies will kind of start with different patches. And let me just see if this is a male or a female. If you don't know, this is just kind of a pop. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's one of the hemipenes if you pop them. So mm -hmm. this is a male. I'm gonna put him with the red bowl, or I'm gonna put him with the blue bowl. And then the female with the red bowl. But check out the belly on this one and the pattern. I really like this one. It's almost a shame that they can't keep their whole pattern into adulthood, but as they grow, they start to get more black, similar to like a IMG boa. They'll get black, 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 and then they'll just become solid black. So let's take a quick look at the adults. Go. All right, so this is one of the adults. This is, I believe, is the female here. Uh, she is in full shed, or she'd normally be this jet black color. Really, really cool looking snake. Uh, they do get a little bit bigger than this, actually, pretty good size bigger. She's a six year old female. And again, you can tell how deep and blue she is. Her eyes are just gray and her whole body has this cool gray color to her, but blacks are, or the belly is jet black. And as they grow again, they, they slowly start losing that tricolor look and they become solid black. A lot of people confuse these from Mexican black king snakes, which they are not. They get a little bit bigger than the black king snakes and they in my experience, don't have any issues with kind of eating each other during breeding. Uh, obviously they can if you do not watch them, 
just like most snake species, but not as much as a king snake would. Really, really cool snakes. We'll have to take another video uh, in a couple days once she sheds out because they're super cool when they're all black. So that's the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is again a special snake species to me. This was my wife's project. I'm going to be keeping quite a few of these but I will put a couple of them up on the website after I figured out what they were males and females. I think I have a 4.4 so four males four females and I am not going to keep all of them. I'm probably going to keep a good two to three pairs but I may let a couple of them go. I just think they're really cool snakes. We'll take one more last look at them. They're jet black, but again, as you saw as babies, they were these cool, super cool tricolored snakes. Every shed, they turn more black and they become a different snake species. So as you know, you can kind of pick your poison. They do get quite large. Uh, this is again, a, a sub adult, adult. They're adults, but what I'll consider not a full grown adult. They can get much larger than this. I've slow grown them and they just become really awesome snakes, really cool cool iridescence and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it, comment on it. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and until next week, let's keep it moving. Thank you.